Hi, introducing my name is Aziz Seno. I'm a software engineer at Bukalapak. Like yep, yeah, I'm a part of Core Design Squad, which is responsible to implement all about visual and design system into a technology. And I'm the engineer squad lead of Core Design Apps. Yes, I'm focusing on the app. Before we go to the design system implementation in Swift, let's talk about Star Company. Yeah, that will be a story. At this moment, there was a startup company X that had a good, good product. Then they met an investor and pitch. They successfully raised and initiate funding from an investor. So the startup grew a little bit bigger. Yep, a bit. Therefore, the investor put more money on them. That's a lot of money. Now, the startup was classified as a big startup. Yep, we knew that the startup is a fast-paced company that means, at this level, new problem had arisen. But I guess this problem are typical for startup company. So yeah, it's a problem. Many product or feature was being developed, and sometimes the etc become a lot of etc. Just like this. Yeah, here's the thing. Its product or feature was developed by different engineer and designer. And the bigger they are, the more engineer they have. Of course, more than one engineer was working on one product or feature. Not to mention, this will be happening. So where's the actual problem, especially on this visual stuff? Yeah, okay, there's a page. Let's call it XYZ. Look like this. And there's another view with a little bit different look. Do you guys realize what's the problem? Yup, both are showing literally same information but the UI aren't same. In other words, inconsistency design. Although they are only a bit different, but still it is not the best practice for the product. So in Bukalapak, our product design team had been thinking so hard to solve the problem until they found a solution called Atomic Design by Brad Force. So what is Atomic Design? Basically, Atomic Design helps us to create and maintain robust design system making more consistent UI for our product or in simple word, view classification. Okay, for example, here we have two views, image text and image caption. So, as a designer, what we need to do is just like this. Which means we have view library to maintain. Okay, this perspective came from a designers. But, but how to accommodate this concept with Swift? Talking about design means dealing with UI view. So the, the easiest way we found must be like this. Image tag view extension of UI view, image caption view is extension of UI view. We can easily place the component all the way directly on the screen. Problem solved. But how about list? Yep, UI table view. So we need UI table view cell type to implement our view. Let's take a look to the UI table view cell hierarchy. It is an extension of UI view and as coding and UI gesture recognizer delegate. And the most important here is the UI view. So we can just create our view from UI table view cell because the super view of it is UI view. So problem solved again. But we still have one more kind of behavior in iOS. How about this? Yep, collection. Any idea? Are we able to do this? No. Nope. Error. Because UI table view cell and UI collection view cell are in different hierarchy. So let's find a solution. First, we can just create two files just like this. Image caption table view cell, extension of UI table view cell, and image caption collection cell, extension of UI collection view cell. But I guess this is not effective because we have to maintain two classes for each view. Next. Okay, we can create a view from UI view and 
create the cell classes to wrap our view in order to be able to place to collection view and table view. Of course, we are maintaining one class for each view, but still, three classes for each view? It's not that a vision, I think. So we are Bukalapak team looking for a solution that should be a kind of universal view. So the idea of universal view was a view that is able to become UI view, UI table view cell, and UI collection view cell. And finally, we found a solution and we call it universal view cell. We can just extend our reusable view to implement our view into the UI table view and UI collection view. So yep, we only maintain one class each view. And the project is open source. I put the link on the description. That's all how we manipulate UI kit view in Bukalapak. And yep, we are hiring too. You may check careers at bukalapak.com and you can find me in any social media with username Aziseno. Feel free to ask me about tech or career in Bukalapak or any general startup company. And of course, I may give you a referral for that. So, yep, thanks for watching. And don't forget to contribute our open source project in GitHub.